Do you think you can juggle being an entrepreneur, a musician, and a college student at the same time? Derek Griffin does it. He's the COO of Benepro. Check out his story on this episode of Disrupt Education. Frank Miller returns, it's a battle of the guys. Superman, Bruce Wayne, pockets full of wads. The Dark Knight in his habitat, Jason with the rat attack. Clark can't possess a laser attack. Uh. Katana's on a dead back, pool full of blood, gang banging on the flood. Whip stay superior, Hydro Man remains inferior. Universal cruise with a silver exterior. Red skull pinned on the chest, got a black mask. Hail Hydra, Harley Quinn, girl, I love when I'm inside ya. Agent Carter's up next, Central Time, bruh. Got Mr. Derek Griffin here, CMO of Benepro. Uh, COO, sorry, I get that wrong every That's time. Right, that's right. Uh, tell us a little now <laughs> about Benepro, man. So, Benepro. Uh, if anybody doesn't know about it, Vina Pro to play on words, it's a social media platform for innovators, entrepreneurs, anybody that has a disruptive idea, you're trying to find the right people you need, or you're looking to be a part of an idea, this is the platform to make that idea come to life. So Basically, you get a bunch of entrepreneurs together, it's like a social media platform, uh, attaching everything. That's what it's about, yeah. and honestly, um, you know, being a young entrepreneur like myself, I'm also a, a business major at Robert Morris, um, one of the things we try to focus on is bringing in that younger perspective. Right, so whether right. that be high school students, whether that be college students, yeah. um, you think about you know the business leaders today mm -hmm. and bringing in that young perspective. So right. really trying to elevate the game of you know not just internship opportunities, but mm -hmm. really like real world clients getting that real world experience right. you know for fairly cheap labor or just for someone that's looking to have that um, experience that they need that they haven't gotten before so so what's what's really cool about you is because you are uh, downtown you're you're taking uh, college courses you're a full student right. uh, you're an entrepreneur so you're both basically um, a uh, a traditional and kind of a non-traditional student um, Tell me, yeah. tell me a little bit about that. Like, how does that work in? Like, what worked for you in school? What didn't work for you in, in like, a high school setting? And, and how did you get to kind of splitting the, yeah. splitting the, the realms? So, out? I think the traditional side comes a little more from my parents. Um, but more importantly, I believe the traditional side of being a, a student has allowed me to become disciplined and right. really has allowed me to teach myself my time management. It's really forced myself to know that if I want to pursue something on my own, I can do it. So I don't make school an excuse, right. but it allows me to create that work-life balance, quote unquote, that people want to, um, I guess, achieve in their lives. Right. So by doing so, I always tell people I'm willing to live an uncomfortable lifestyle now to live comfortably for the rest of my life. Nice. And so really my goal as an entrepreneur, as a leader, mm -hmm. is to amplify the strengths uh, around the people amongst myself right. um, so the way I'm doing that is just by continuing to network with the people that are reflecting uh, my morals and goals that I'm trying to achieve yeah and just uh, you know I'm also a musician so right. that also right. just kind of complements things as well so it, it keeps it keeps me loose and keeps me motivated on what I'm doing so let me ask you then kind of on on that realm when you're working with college and you went through all the things in high school because everybody's sure. tried to be pushed through four-year college and, and yeah. you know disrupting education is all about that's not working yeah. um, tell me about some of your best experiences in high school that kind of helped you uh, understand the entrepreneur part um, and maybe some things that really kind of you know knocked you off your your goal so. As absolutely so uh, my junior year uh, I got exposed to a coca-cola marketing project um, I had the opportunity to give a pitch to a couple of VPs um, in the area of coca-cola mm -hmm. uh, first experience with that it was just kind of like I wanted to be on the money with things yeah. I didn't want to be kind of uh, you know lacking in terms of you know what am I doing I, I wanted to know going in I, I had all my all my ducks in a row right, so right. with that being said um, just really trying to focus on the opportunity that was given right. and from there um, that expanded into me working with Hyatt Hotels. Mm -hmm. um, I got the opportunity to start the first business club here at OPRF. Yeah, and from there, that was an amazing experience because I got to work with my best friends. Cool. And from there, that's what I'm doing with Benepro now. So really, it's just about understanding that, you know, the system itself with mm -hmm. education is not your only option. Right. And I believe that the classroom is teaching us mm -hmm. as students, as uh, young millennials, as, is that school is your only option, but it's mm -hmm. not. Right. And, and, and if we're only taught one way to do things, that's all we're going to know. Right. And you right. don't know what you don't know. That's what I always So you're allowed to, to fail, I that, guess. That, that, that's, 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 what, that, that's what it's about. You, you fail and you fail some more because um, 
part of the part of the thing that I think people are afraid of is failure. Right. And right. the only way you're gonna learn the most mm -hmm. is through failure. Failure has taught me more than me winning. Honestly. Do you think the school system is set up that way to teach you to fail, or do you think? How, what are your thoughts on that? You went through uh, a couple years ago. Um, I don't want to say it's it's set up for me to fail, but I do want to say that it, it has set me up to be one dimensional. Mm -hmm. So I don't allow that to restrict myself to be one dimensional. Right. So that is why I'm continuing to give myself multiple outlets for myself. So for any young student, uh, entrepreneur, anybody that has an idea, something that they're trying to pursue, mm -hmm. don't allow your one experience to be your only focal point because mm -hmm. for you to get a degree says, okay, I'm qualified. But at the end of the day, right. you got to go get it on your own as right. an individual. You right. have to then sell yourself to that company, uh, to that individual, why you're capable of doing the job. Yeah, you're qualified, but it takes a lot more than just that. Would there be one thing in high school that you would change to help students understand what you just said there? Like um, to, to get them, so, is, it, is the system... <clears throat> If you could change one thing in the system, what would you what would you change? I think for me is uh, flexibility in time. I mm -hmm. believe that uh, with such a long school day, you think about high school, you're you're almost going to school maybe for seven or eight hours a day. Right. And it's it's almost it's think about it equivalent to a nine to five job. Sure. Um, but I think with college, that is the one thing I can differentiate is is the time freedom I do get. Mm -hmm. You may have a couple classes in one day. You focus on those couple classes, and then from there, you got you kind of have the rest of the day to yourself. And I always right. tell people, you have the same twenty four hours in the day, and however you decide to use it is up to you. Um, if that time was allocated a little bit differently, uh, I feel that high school students could be a lot more efficient right. rather right. than just being so drained and, and, and almost like robots. Is there, in, would, in, sense. in that time frame, would there be more? <laughs> Uh, different types of classes that you'd like to see that you know the system doesn't have in it uh, I would like to see more classes cater to students actually being able to do the things that they love doing right. um, I feel that in some respects uh, you know having to take certain gen eds they may not really match up with the type of individual you are mm -hmm. um, doesn't allow you to find yourself as a person right. and I think that the high school uh, realm kind of teaches you to really find yourself as an individual, figure out what you want to major in, mm -hmm. um, what do you want to pursue in your life as a career, quote unquote. Right. But the system itself is defeating that purpose right. if right. they're only giving you X, Y, and Z to work with. Right. So I think there needs to be a little bit more of a variety, more diversity, and really just understanding that not every class matters to certain students mm -hmm. um, and taking that into consideration. Um, I think there's always going to be your essentials, but you gotta you gotta get outside of that box. So I, I would definitely express entrepreneurship for sure. So I'm your own boss. Yeah, I'm hearing like uh, time, <clears throat> different flexibility in time, flexibility in student-centered ideas yeah, for sure, and um, you know building bases off of students trying to find what they're really interested in and experimentation and. Right. and Accepting failure in there. That, that's what it's about. That's the change in that's the what system. You gotta right? do. Absolutely. Frank Miller returns. It's a battle of the guys. Superman, Bruce Wayne, pockets full of wads. The Dark Knight in his habitat. Jason with the rat attack. Clark can't possess the laser attack. Uh. Katana's on a dead back, pool full of blood, gang banging on the flood. Glips stay superior. Hydro man remains inferior. Universal cruise with a silver exterior.